So last time we added a basic login page to our application, which redirected the user to the hello.html page. The problem we have right now is that hello.html page can be accessed by users who are not logged in. So let me show you how that works. So I'm not logged in right now. And if I go to the hello page, I can still access it. So that's not good. So to prevent this, we're going to be implementing sessions, which store user information client side about whether they are logged in or not, as well as a login required decorator, which will protect the hello.html page from unauthorized access. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull up the routes.py file. And just a forewarning for the first video, I used a quiet keyboard that I'm not used to. And so my typing was terrible. In the second tutorial, I used my regular keyboard, which is really loud. And that really came across in the video. So I'm going to try to stick with the quiet keyboard. So just bear with me. Starting with the sessions, let's go ahead and add the following code to the log function. So session logged in. And you now want to create a new function called logout to reset the session to the default value, which is none. And that'll also redirect the user back to the home page. So let me just go and put that right up here. So at So when the user logs out, we're using this pop method to reset the key back to the uh, default value. I think it's pretty cool. And then we're going to redirect them back to the home page. And I already have a typo. And of course, I need to return there. All right, that should do it. So let's go ahead and fire up the server. It's actually already going, so let me kill it, and I'll open it back up. So now let me try and log in. Admin, admin, and looks like we're getting an internal server error. Okay, well I guess this is the um, perfect time to show you how to debug. So let's go ahead and close the server. Pull up routes.py. And then we want to add debug equals true to this run function. And this will allow us to see the debugger in action, which provides more information about specific errors. And this is really handy, but you never want to use this on a production server as it's a huge security threat. All right, so let me go ahead and save this. Let's get the server going again. Let's go ahead and refresh. Let's see what's going on here. So, okay, we do not have a secret key. Simple. So we just need to add the secret key to protect the session files. So let's go to back to routes.py. We'll go ahead and add in this secret key. So app.secret underscore key. save this now. Now you obviously do not want to do what I'm doing here. Make sure your key is completely is a completely random sequence of letters, numbers, symbols, etc. There are key generators that you can use to completely randomize the key. So let's go ahead and test this again. Let me go back up to the command line here. So if you see here this is another little treat the debugger gives us. When it detects change in one of the files it'll automatically reload the server for us. So let's go back here. Let me hit the back button, try and log in again. And there we go, it now works. Okay, and now let's try logging out. And this should redirect us back, back to the home page. Cool, all right, so that works. 
So let's go ahead and use the flash message feature to provide basic feedback to the user when they log out. So go ahead and open up the log.html file. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this in here just for the sake of time. Good enough. I'll go ahead and save that. And then we want to go back to routes.py. Go ahead and add the flash message here. So flash viewer logged out. Actually, let me stay consistent here. Just use a single here. Okay. There we go. So let me go ahead and save that. Let's test that again. So you can see that it restarted the server again. So log in, admin, admin, log in, and now let's try logging out. Okay, that didn't work. All right, so let me check my routes.py file. Um, okay, being redirected to the home.html rather than log.html. So let's try that again. Log in, admin, admin, log in. Now we can log out. Okay, there we go. Redirect it back to the log screen, and there's the message you were logged out. So let's go ahead and add that logout link to the hello page. Save that, and let's go back to the server here. So, admin, admin, logged in, close that, log out, you were logged out. All right, perfect. So we still have the problem that a user can access the hello page if they're not logged in. So obviously I'm not logged in right now, and I can still access the hello page. So we need to add a new decorator called the login required decorator. So first off, a decorator simply allows us to easily change how a function operates. And we've actually been using them all along for the URL routing. They just start with the at symbol. And so you want to start by importing the func tools to the routes.py file, which I've already done. And so now I'm just going to copy and paste the wrapping function in and then explain how it works. Uh, so let me just put this right up here. save that. So basically this tests to see if logged in is in session and if so the method is called and if not the user is redirected to the log.html page and a message stating that they need to log in is populated. So now we just need to go ahead and add this function to the hello function and we'll do that by using a decorator so add login required. So now when a get request is sent to access hello.html, it hits the at login required function first, which in a sense is wrapped around this hello function. And again, if the user is logged in, the hello function is invoked, and if not, the user is, re is redirected and asked to log in again. So let's uh, go ahead and test everything out. I go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and log out. So let me just make sure this still works. Okay, we log in. That works, now let me log out. Now let's see what happens when we try and 
access hello without being logged in and it redirects us to the login page and says that we need to log in first. All right, so everything works. Housekeeping is now complete. We now have security set up to prevent unauthorized access to the hello page. And next time we'll be looking at something a little more fun, which is databases. So hope to see you then. Thanks.